Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in this video, I will show you how to edit like a Magnus Media in Premiere Pro. So let's get into the video. First, go to new item, sequence, frame size, horizontal 9020, vertical 1080, press OK. Go to new item, color mat. You can select any color you like. Go to effects and add grid. Let me add another color match. Change the color to yellow. Select the grid layer. Go to effect controls under grid. Change blend mode to soft light. Size from change to width and high sliders. Increase height and width. Change the border size to 3. Now using ellipse tool, I'm going to add a small circle like this. Under effect controls, shape, uncheck fill, and check stroke. Stroke size 2. Let me add the circle center. Go to window. Essentially graphics. Under align and transform, align it to center. Using pen tool, I'm going to draw a straight line like this. Under shape tool, let me increase the stroke size. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a six copies of the shape tool layer. See the position and rotation of each shape layer like you see in this video. Let me delete the circle, we don't need it anymore. Decrease the scale size to 20. Save the position to the left like this. Now I am going to create duplicates of the shape layer. Place it like this. Let me nest all these shape layers. Create a duplicate of this nest sequence and place it on top like this. Select this border nest sequence and set a keyframe for position. Go few frames forward and place the position down. Again go few frames and position up. Now for the top nest sequence, set a keyframe for position over here. Place it at top. Go few frames forward and place it at bottom. Again go few frames forward and place it at top. Now you will get this type of animation. Using the riser tool, I am going to cut the unwanted portions. Nest these two nest layers. Create a duplicate of this nest layer. Right click, speed duration, check reverse speed. Create a duplicate of the first nest sequence and place it over here. Create again duplicate of this reverse nest sequence and place it over here. Now I am going to select all these nest layers and nest again. I am going to create multiple copies of this nest sequence. Place it like this as you see in this video. Change the blend mode to overlay. Now what I'm going to do is double click on the next sequence. Double click again and again and again and again. Copy the shape layer right here. Go back to main comb and paste it. Let me say the scale size to 20. And you don't have to add any keyframes. Place the shape like this. As we done before, create multiple copies of the shape layer. Nest it and create multiple copies. Place it like this. Change the blend mode to overlay. Our background animation is finished. Now using rectangle shape tool, I'm going to create a rectangle shape like this. Under shape, uncheck stroke, and check fill. Change color to violet. Now 
and opacity change blend mode to hard light. Let me add the shape layer again by pressing on plus V. We already copied the shape layer before. If it doesn't show up, go to this in the sequence, double click it. When you reach at the end, select the shape layer, copy and go to main sequence which is here and paste it. Let me place the shape layer on top, increase the scale size and adjust the position. Set keyframe for scale at the beginning of the timeline, increase the scale size. Go few press forward and decrease the scale size. Set keyframe for position over here. Go few press forward and place the position to the right. Now, don't select any layers and using type tool, I'm going to add a test. Let me place this test over here. Set keyframe for position at the beginning of this test layer. Place it to the right. Go few press forward and place the test to the left. Under test, select this rectangle mask tool. Create a mask like this. Set keyframe for mask path. Go few press forward and place the rectangle mask shape to the right. Let me slightly increase the test size. Also, let me adjust the mask path. Now go to effects and add drop shadow to the shape layer and test layer. Increase the softness and adjust the distance. Let me add wave warp to the rectangle box. Increase wave width size to 400. Add drop shadow to the rectangle box. Change shadow color to light brown. Increase opacity, adjust the direction and distance. Select rectangle box and set keyframe for path. Go few frames forward and drag both sides down like this. Go few frames forward and place both sides up like this. Set keyframe for position at the beginning. Go few frames forward and adjust the position to make the wave shape layer to be placed at the middle. Using type tool, I'm going to add a test. Change the color to yellow under test layer, select the rectangle mask tool. I'm going to create a mask like this. Set keyframe for mask path. Go few frames forward, place this mask all the way to the right. Now select the ellipse tool and draw a shape like this. Change color to yellow. Create another duplicate of this layer. Change color to violet. Change scale size and adjust position. Let me add an image into the timeline. I will put a link in the description. You can download from there. Place this all the way to the top. Go to effects and add tint. Change both colors to white. Nest these three layers. Place a circle all the way to the right and set a keyframe. Also set a keyframe for rotation. Change the rotation to minus 50. Go few frames forward and place a circle to the middle. Change the rotation to 0. Go to new item, adjust my layer. Add Gaussian blur to the adjust my layer. Set a keyframe for blurriness. Go few frames forward, change the blurriness to 40. Let me add dollar image to the timeline. Add tint. Change both colors to white. Set keyframe for scale. Change scale size to 0. Go few press forward. Change scale size to 30. 
Let me create multiple copies of this total image and place it like this. Next, all these total layers. Now I'm going to create a duplicate of this rectangle box. Place this over here. On the shape layer, set keyframe for path. Drag it down. Go few press forward and change it back to original position. I will also set a keyframe for position. Go few press forward and make position at the middle. Now I will select all these layers except the top layer. Nest it. Let me add the money video. Increase the scale size, decrease the opacity. Under opacity, select so rectangle mask tool and add a mask like this. Uncheck uniform scale, set keyframe for scale height and change to zero. Go few press forward and change scale height to 100. Go to effects and add tint. Select the rectangle box and increase the size. Do the same for the money video. Go to effects and add brightness and contrast to the money video. Decrease the brightness to minus 100. Now using rectangle tool, I'm going to create a rectangle like this. Under shape, change field color. Using type tool, I'm going to add a test. Let me nest these two layers. Set keyframe for opacity at the beginning, change to zero. Go few press forward, change the opacity to 100. Let me add an anime line, green screen video into the timeline. Go to effects and add ultra key. Under ultra key, select this color picker and select this green color. Place this video below the rectangle box. Now I'm going to add an image. Increase scale size and set a keyframe for position. Place it down. Go few press forward, position up. Go to effects and add tint. Now I'm going to create duplicate of this image and place it on top. Change both colors to white. Increase scale size a little bit. Aggregation blur to the background images. Set keyframe for blurriness. Go V press forward and increase blurriness to 30. Do the same for the second scene, next sequence, which is this portion right here. Let me double click on the third scene. 
Now is a key frame for path over here. Go few frames forward and drag it down. Do the same for the money video. Then I'm going to create a duplicate of this first rectangle box and place it over here. Using type tool, I'm going to add a test. Aggression blur to the rectangle box and test layer. Set keyframe over here and go a few frames forward and increase blur dust. Yeah, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. If you find this video useful, give a like. Subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of tutorial videos. And I will see you on my next video.